Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Today, welcome to my second episode of testing current kind of crop of CPU water blocks. I haven't done so for many years, so it's time to see how modern models, makes and variations uh, stack against each other. We may or may not see the big difference and maybe things didn't really change since uh, well, we did it 10 years ago, but we'll see. So that's the reason of actual practical experimentation right there. Second reason why I decided to do so is the uh, fact that Intel released a new platform that finally in many years they have a different type of the socket which is sits closer to the motherboard which means that if you reuse old block that mounting mechanism may not provide optimal pressure because the CPU is far from CPU block so you might need different bolts and springs in order to make a proper contact between two uh, it may again or may not uh, actual important so much that you have to migrate to new blocks that's the reason why i'm actually comparing between models but we'll find out today so basically last week if you watched my video uh, i did a test with the original velocity probably number one block used worldwide so a lot of you might have it already so it's relevant to you and today we'll look into the velocity 2 which is a replacement for original velocity venture at least and it's specifically optimized for the LJ1700 type of the socket. It has a proper mounting and it's also having all proper bolts and nuts and it will have optimal pressure 100%. I even went so much further that they recommend a certain torque level when you fixing the mounting screws. So I even went and uh, reused this AK water blocks, a uh, very expensive screw uh, driver which is actually provide optimal type of the pressure when you're mounting so it's mounted as best as you can possibly do so any of you who interested how I test and everything so description of the, my testing methodology welcome to see episode one I just briefly I'd say, tell you that um, I have a reservoir with D5 pump set on maximum I have a triple cross flow reservoir with this triple gentle typhoons which are running at 1850 rpms I have a CPU block that and 3080 GPU we don't participate really in testing in this particular case I only running with the CPU block over overclocking and heating and uh, I use uh, basically Cinebench and Intel management uh, software in order to change uh, voltages and uh, multipliers so that's what we're happening here so first of all as long as we're talking about relatively probably it's one of the latest blocks on the market i just would like briefly tell you what i think is i really like so it wasn't really clear from the k paperwork and uh, manuals and uh, descriptions that they have a different type of the mountings they just say we have new revolutionary mounting what the hell is this who god knows right um and um, but actually i found it extremely good and why i say so the fact that you have a traditional mount with a uh, let's say original velocity when you have a screw right there and um, I would say that uh, because of the current crop of the motherboard the heatsink is so huge and they're so close to the socket I have a big problem with my hands to reach those uh, numb screws and fasten the original block so I, honestly it never happened to me before I even have to use small pliers in order to tighten the mounting properly so this was a big pain in the ass both mount block and dismount we'll see how other models goes but for velocity and mounting on on this uh, hero uh, maximus motherboard was absolutely biggest pain in, in the ass in the world with velocity 2 you actually have a screws on the back believe it or not I never saw this before and you use essentially a screwdriver in order to mount it and you just uh, you know in cross pattern as usual you just fix them to the end and you're done so it was a little bit maybe awkward that you uh, in the past you kind of put cpu blocks like from the top and when your computer is lying on with motherboard being flat and then you put screws on top here you kind of put initial position and put block 
in a vertical position which was a little bit awkward but not a big deal and then you need to align both and make screws catch with the CPU block itself so it was somewhat awkward first time but I'm pretty sure that you know when I did the second and third mounts I basically I get it's get how to use it and it was very easy so uh, mounting mechanism five stars 100% so I really like it the screws hidden inside of the block so you don't even see them you don't lose them it's not like a traditional block usually something roll of the table you, you like crawling on, on, on the floor trying to find parts so mounting mechanism is a truly nail it I absolutely love it 100% so a second thing that was a big difference at least for me uh, comparing with velocity, original velocity was the fact that I almost got extra liter per minute for the flow rate. So velocity too is much less restrictive. So with the same configuration, with the original velocity, I have a seven liters per minute. With this block, I got. Uh, let me look on my my notes. Uh, seven liters eighty seven. So it was almost 8 liters per minute so in my personal test um, the higher water flow you have the lower temperatures you get they're always beneficial so I always try to maximize it for that reason so it's it's a big benefit and I think it's partially was the reason why I got much better results comparing with uh, this block it's not earth shattering don't get heart attack if you if you're still running velocity but nevertheless there's a worse difference and uh, you decide if it's worth going for a new block if you have an old one and you have a new motherboard sitting in place so first of all in terms of overclock itself doesn't matter what i couldn't achieve higher overclock than 5.22 so multiplier 52 is absolute maximum on, on this CPU. It doesn't matter what temperatures you have, it's just not stable. So that's probably my silicon lottery levels that I got. But for the lower voltages, I actually get uh, interesting enough, I got a much better result. So the lowest voltage I can do with the original velocity it was 1.255. So the clock speed the same, but the lowest voltage was 1.255. With Velocity 2, for whatever reason, maybe because I have a higher flow rate, maybe because the contact is better, whatever. And um, the lowest voltage that system was stable was 1.235, so it was a little bit better result. And because of that, I also get lower temperatures. So, in the end of the day, Velocity 2, for me, won because I can achieve the same overclock and lower over voltages and subsequently I got a lower temperatures of the system. So for the P cores, essentially I went as much as a 5 degrees down. So it was the difference between running a little bit on higher voltage with the original block versus this one. 5 degrees, I think I will take it. So basically it's not a bad result at all. For the E cores, because it was overclocked much less, as multiplier was 40 in both cases, I didn't actually even didn't bother to try to change it. I only tried to go 53 on P cores, but it was not stable, doesn't matter which voltages you're using. So this was no luck here. But the difference between E cores on old and new blocks was just literally like two degrees. I think anything that one, two degrees, there's not a lab environment. So like one, two degrees, like forget about it. Five, it definitely, it's not it's a little bit more than <laughs> than not lab environment. So where we are? Well, what I can say. If you have budget, it's no-brainer. High flow rate, very easy mounting, it doesn't look bad, I think, and you have a low temperatures. What else you want, right? Does it it worth X dollars to spend? Well, it's up to you. If you tied up, you can achieve basically at hotter uh, temperatures the same result with original velocity. So if you don't have a cash at the moment or, or desire to whatever to spend money you still can be okay so that's basically bottom line on uh, those testing results that what i'm getting now with third video i will move to mm, favorite of everybody 
hit killer block and we'll see how it stacks against uh, those two that we already discussed. So that will be probably sometimes next week. I will see how many blocks I can test within a week, but I only can do videos on weekends because I'm just too busy. So we'll see guys what's happening and then maybe I will release a couple videos right away if I will be able to test a few of those. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. As always, make sure you make some comments. Uh, Always love to read them. Alright guys, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.